Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back to watch another popular Korean recipe. It's gonna be Korean spicy chicken stew. Okay, first you're gonna turn your heat to high. You're gonna pour two cups of water and you're gonna cover it up till it boils. I peeled two rustic potatoes, two onions, two carrots, two green onions, and I have a little bit of ginger here and I'll show you what to do with it in a little bit. So first we wanna get our um, potatoes cooked. I have my two chicken breasts here, so you need to think about how big do you want your chicken breasts and try to cut your potato around the same size. So I'm gonna cut my potato, make it a little bit chunky. I'm gonna cut them in fours. You wanna cut them all the same size so they all cook evenly. Cut them in fours, okay. So once you do that, you can see I like to keep this kind of like thickness because I know my chickens are gonna be the same way. Okay, it started boiling, yep. Carefully put your potatoes in and you know it's gonna splatter so I like to use my cutting board as a little shield. Make sure it's flat so all the water is covering the potatoes just like that. And you're going to just let that boil and soften up. You're gonna cut up the carrots. In there. You're gonna use one onion. I'm gonna use some green onions. And then for this part, I'm gonna make these a little fancier so you can cut them like this. And then put them in there. Okay. Here's a little bit of ginger that I already peeled. I'm just gonna cut a little bit. And you just wanna mince it. This is optional. I know not everyone has ginger and not everyone likes ginger because it's such a strong, tasting root, but just mince a little bit because I like to throw it in there. And I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay. In the meantime, I see that my potatoes have a nice boil. Make sure it's boiling. I'm going to cut up my chicken. So I have two nice chicken breasts. And I'm gonna try to cut them the same size I cut my potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Now that everything's cut up, I'm going to make my sauce. I love to use this gochujang. It's a um, red pepper paste. So I'm gonna use three tablespoons. of the red pepper paste. I have two tablespoons of my soy sauce that I love to use for sauces. Let me see, get that in there, mix it in really well. I got one tablespoon of minced garlic. Optional is a tablespoon of red pepper flakes. I have it, so I'm just gonna use it. Optional is a dash of sesame oil. I have it, so I'm gonna use it. Don't need it though. You're gonna mix that up really well. And I always like to taste the sauce. Mmm, that's very good. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. If you wanna start off with one, mix it up and then taste it and then add the other one, feel free to do that. I like to use two. I like my spicy chicken a little bit sweeter. And then you have the optional minced ginger. So that's your sauce, so easy. And like I said before, whatever you don't have, it's fine. Okay, I see that my 
potatoes are cooking really, really well. Now you can add your sauce. Give it a good mix. Let it come to a boil again. Once it comes to a boil, you can add all your chicken. And again, I like to just carefully put it in. I use my cutting board as a little splash protector. Make sure that's all evened out. Let it come to a nice boil before you throw in the other vegetables. Now my mom makes it with a whole hen. She'll cut it up with the bone and everything, but that's not a simple dish. I wanted to show you how you can make a simple Korean dish with what you have at home. The rest of your vegetables are ready to go in. You have your onions that you cut up, the carrot, and your scallions. Just go ahead and coat it. You want to keep the chicken down there. The other vegetables can just stay on top. I like my carrot crunchier, so I like to keep it on top. If you want your carrot mushy like your potato, then you can uh, use a bigger pot and have it on the bottom. But I just like to keep it just like that. The green onion is just to make it look pretty. And then you just cover it up. for about 15 minutes. If you are gonna be doing something else and if you're not able to watch your pot stewing, you would turn it to medium. But if you're gonna be here watching it, then you can keep it on high. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes and I can smell it's done. Um, I went ahead and I checked the potatoes and the potatoes were ready. So, see if you get the potato, if you want to come up, you should be able to break into the potato like that. Once the potato is done, your stew is done. So you can turn your heat off and it just smells so good. Okay, so while I turned off the heat on that, I'm just going to use half of my onion that I had earlier. I'm just going to slice it real quick. And I like to just put it at the bottom of my dish because I love onion. So I like to just kind of put it at the very bottom, get a big scoop of chicken. Wow, that looks really good. And so I like to put some green onions on top just to make it look pretty. Some sesame seeds on top. Wow, that looks amazing. Okay guys, now we're going to taste our chicken. Mmm. So good. It's very spicy. It might be too spicy for, for, for you guys that don't like uh, spicy food. What I would do is I would not add the red pepper flakes and I would probably add more water. And you can also use less um, gochujang because it does have a kick in it. But the potato of this dish is also a winner. The potato is excellent. I love the carrot. I love everything about this dish. Everyone has chicken, potato, and carrot and onion at home. So I wanna try to create dishes where you're able to create something authentically Korean with the ingredients you have at home. Like I said before, my mom, she uses a whole chicken with the bone. She cuts it up um, and then she throws it into the pot, but that is a lot of work. and. I don't really don't have time for that. Okay guys, if this dish is too spicy for you, you wanna lay off the red pepper paste, which we call gochujang. You just wanna use one tablespoon. I've used two because I'm used to eating spicy, but if you want it less spicy, then you would wanna just use one. Also, you can add more water to make it less spicy, but 
This is a very authentic sauce, and this is how we like to eat taktori tang. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.